Yo, what it do? Welcome back to another episode of Three Wands, where knowledge is given to you to turn into wisdom. It's Lord Shu. Welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel, SLR channel. Leave a comment, let me know if you like this video or if I can change anything in the video or how I make my videos in the future. And if you like the video, like it and share with somebody if you think it'll help them. Recently, we've been talking about the seven core universal laws, the laws of the universe. The last episode, we talked about the law of correspondence, which is essentially the way that your internal dialogue manifests into who you actually are physically. Let's talk about the law of vibration. So all of these, I try to make them flow into each other so you get the step-by-step -step process of really how to utilize these seven core universal laws to essentially change your life. Essentially is the word we're gonna use today. Essentially change your life. I gotta give you the squint, like, this really what it is. I'm about to drop some gym juice game dimes. Let me open up Hybrid Manual. This is for free download on my website, shoelovesrebels.com, or you can get a hard copy at hbsxpopup.com. All of this is in the description box below, so don't miss out. You can have all this reading material that I'm giving you in one, I think it's like 23 pages of information talking about how to focus, how to work on yourself, how to use the universal laws, you name it, it's in there. So this is the first issue of my magazine, Hybrid Manual, and it talks about my lifestyle keys to the island. Let's talk about the law of vibration. So I'm going to read the excerpt that comes directly from the Emerald Tablets of Thoth. Nothing rests, everything moves, everything vibrates the law of vibration, the principle of vibration. What does this mean? Lord Shu explain. Let's go down to some things that might make a little more sense to you on a regular level. You know when uh, you listen to a song or you get around somebody and you're like, mm, I ain't feeling they vibe. I'm not, I'm not vibing with them. I'm not feeling the vibe of this song. The song ain't got a good vibe. Vibe, frequency. So when you're thinking of vibe, Think of frequency. Everything has its own frequency. So we talked about the law of mentalism, right? Everything is the mind. Everything is mental. And then we talked about the law of correspondence. The internal dialogue with self to manifest into the physical self. And then now we're talking about the law of vibration. Everything has a frequency. I'm gonna use mentalism to understand that everything around me is, uh, these are my thoughts. And I'm gonna use the law of correspondence to tell myself who I really am by knowing myself through the first law, the law of mentalism. And then three, because of the first two, my frequency changes. Now I'm emitting a frequency that aligns with that. And that's how the law of attraction actually comes into play, which we'll say the law of vibration is like the law of, of attraction, but the law of attraction takes the law of mentalism the law of correspondence and the law of vibration, all three together to begin to actually manifest in the real world. When you emit a certain frequency, you can change your environment, who you are, because that frequency, remember, if in the law of correspondence, how you feel about yourself, your internal dialogue is what manifests physically, right? So the frequency itself in the law of vibration begins to change the things around it because everything around you is moving. Everything has a vibration, right? So you go up to a person, you already know who you are, you're confident, you feel good about life, you, you are surrendering to life. You're surrendering to the fact that, hey, I'm alive, I'm a human being, I'm here. When you get around other people who might not have that same feeling about life, but you stand in 10 toes down in who you are, you're confident, you're not afraid, you're gonna get a response. And that's because of the vibration that you send out. When people come into your field, because your vibration is all around you, right? So now you got a little force field of happy juice all around you, just happiness, right? And you go around people and they're like, man, I, I get around, uh, I get around so-and-so and I just feel so good. I, I feel like I can do anything. Or just like somebody you might look up to when they talk and you hearing them speak, like uh, if you got a favorite mu music artist and you listen to their music and it just, it makes everything better. It's cause of the frequency that they emit. Now the art has its own frequency and that person's frequency is in the art. So even though you might not listen to the music, they could just be having an interview. 
you you listening to them talk and that vibration it just make you feel good make you feel confident make you want to go get the job done here's ways that you can use the law of vibration in your life on an everyday level so one look at everything in your life as a mother would if, if look at everything like you're the mom of everything nurture god teach serve take care of and your vibration will change and honestly that that is all i have to say about techniques to use because that is the best technique this is really the only technique i would would advise anyone to use is being a mother and if you're an actual mother i applaud you because it's not easy you really got to look at things from a pure stance so that's pretty much it for today's video talking about law of vibration if you like this video please click the like button leave a comment and tell me how i can make these videos better or that you just love me because i love you and also please share this video with somebody if you think it will help them and subscribe to the channel if you're a newbie until next time y'all it's laura shoe holla